Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're having a great afternoon. We are going to do something called 10 frames, okay? 10 frames is about counting and seeing how many for each number. So I'm going to show you on my first paper. You should have this in your packet, right? How many? Well, let me fold it so it makes it a little bit easier for you to see it. How many dots are in this 10 frame? Zero, right? There are no dots, so it's zero. How many dots are in this 10 frame? One, right? There's one dot, so that's called the one 10 frame. And then, how many comes after one? Two, right? And then three and four. And let's count the next one. What's after four? Let's count this one together. This one is one, two, three, four, five. So that's five, right? And then it keeps going all the way to 10. So I want you to find your paper that looks like this, okay? It shows us all of our 10 frames, but nothing is filled in, right? So how many dots, or you could color in the whole box if you want, the square. How many do we think we color in for this number right here? What number is this? Number one, right? So how many do we color in? One, right? So you can either make a circle or a dot in your 10 frame, or you can color the whole box. I'm going to use my marker and I'll show you. I'm going to color in the whole box. See? So I did number one. And then over here, what number is this? Number two, right? So how many do you think we color in for that one? Two, you're right. So we're going to color in two boxes for that one. Okay, one, two. See how I did two? I colored in one, two. What number comes after two? Three. Where is your three on your paper? Can you point to number three? Three, right? Three is right here. So you're going to color in three boxes. There's one. There's two. There's three. I wanted you to be able to see me doing it. See, one, two, three boxes in that one. What number comes after three? Four, right? So we're going to color in four boxes in this one. I'll do it down here and then hold it up so you can see it better, okay? One, two, three, four boxes. See, let's count them. I colored in one, two, three, four boxes. Then what number is after four? Five, right? So now we got to color in five boxes. And if you have to, count as you color it in. It makes it a little bit easier. That's why I do one, two, three, four, five. Then it makes five boxes. So look here. You can notice something on the 10 frame. So this right here, this whole row is five so we know this whole row is five and the bottom row is five so we'll know when we get to ten we need you to color in all the boxes so let's do number six let's do six because after five is six so count to six for me color in all the boxes one two three four five and one more six Okay, so let's see number six. See number six? Because five of the, at the top, and then I had one more would be six. And then seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's do number seven. Count out seven boxes and color that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes seven boxes, right? And then eight. We need number eight. Eight's my favorite number because eight looks like a snowman. See number eight? Eight has a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. That's number eight. So we got to count out eight squares for this one. So count out eight and color in eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Eight. 
And you can always count again to check your work to see if you really counted an eight. So I'm going to show you. Let's count this one together. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I get eight boxes? I did, right? So then what number's down here? What's after eight? Nine, right? So we're going to color in nine boxes this time. So nine boxes. So count all the way to nine. Remember, and if you have to, you can count again to check your work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's look at number nine. Number nine has how many boxes left? One, right? So almost every box, all your boxes should be colored in except for one. And number 10, remember we talked about five is all on the top row and then five more would be 10? So see our number 10, a one and a zero is a 10. That's together, right? One and a zero together is 10. So do you think we need to color in all those boxes? Yes, you're right. We need to color in all those boxes. So color all the boxes in for number 10. And then we'll count them together. Okay, so color in all those boxes, and then we'll count to 10 and see if we made 10. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's called your 10 frame, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, boys and girls, and then you should have one more paper that looks like this. Okay, this is kind of a tricky one. I'm going to see if you can do it. Can you point to number one? Where do you see the number one? Yes, at the very top of your paper is number one. And do you see how many dots are in the number one? One, right? So let's see. What about number three? How many dots do you think we need to put in number three? Three, right? We need to put three dots. So one, two, whoops, I made a line on that one, three. One, two, three dots in that one. What about number two? How many dots? Two, right? We need two dots for number two. One, two. See how I put two dots? One, two dots. What about this number? What number is this? Four. So we need to put in four dots. One, two, three, four. It's like it's making it polka dots, huh? We're making our numbers all full of polka dots. So there should be four dots in number four. What about number five? Right here is number five. How many dots in number five? Five, right? So let's count to five. One, two, three three, four, five. See, I put five dots. And remember, it's easier to count out loud while you're doing it, and then you know how many you're doing. That's why I'm counting out loud as I do it. So what number is after five? What number is this right here? Six, right? So we're going to count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. See? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now seven, right? Where's seven? Do you see your seven? That's your number seven. So how many dots do we need to put in number seven? Seven, right? So count them again out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, here's my favorite number. Looks like the snowman. What number is this? Eight, right? That's the number eight. So we have to count eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, now I put eight in that one. How many do you think goes in this number? What number is this? Nine. How many dots? Nine dots, right? Nine goes in the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tricky number, ready? What number is this? 
A one and a zero together is what number? 10, right? A one and a zero together is number 10. So you gotta count out 10 dots. Here's a really tricky one, so count them out. I'm not gonna count out loud this time. I'm just gonna make my dots and then we'll count and see if I really got 10. Okay? Okay, I want you to count them with me. Let's see if I did it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I make ten dots? I did, right? So that's called this paper is the black dot. So I want to see if you can do that paper too, okay? And the last thing, boys and girls, that you could do is play a game with your cubes. You should have your cubes. Remember, these are your cubes from your packet that you have. These are great for 10 frames too. I'll show you what you can do with them. So remember these paper that I showed you. We'll start with this paper. The number two, three, four, right? So how many cubes would be for this one? Two, right? So you can take your cubes and put two together. That would be number two, for, right? That's your two 10 frame. What about this one? How many dots? One, two, three, right? So we're gonna need to do one, two, three. So that would be for number three. What about this number? Count them out for me. Four, right? So I need to count four, or you could just add one more, right? You already had three. If you add one more, that would be four. And then what number comes after four? You would add one more for five. One more for six. One more for seven. One more for eight. One more for nine. And one more for 10, right? And you could keep going. See if you can get even higher than 10, right? Some of you are ready for to go even more than 10. Okay, what's after 10? 11, right? 11, so you could keep going even after 10, okay? So that's some fun math games you can play. I hope you guys have a great day and get outside. It's so nice out, okay? I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.